I have Dr. Marnie Ward with us today. She's our 4-H and Youth Development Specialist. And 4-H is 100 years old now. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, 4-H is the Youth Development Program of Florida Extension. And we offer the direct connection with the University of Florida and all their educational resources and uh, research. And you might not know this, Ms. BJ, but 4-H has some very famous alumni. In fact, our agricultural commissioner, Adam Putnam, is a 4-H alumni, along with Alan Shepard, a famous astronaut, and former lady uh, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Well, one of the things that, you know, this is a very technology-driven society and, you know, everybody's got a gadget, um, and yet there are some skills that are, were probably important 100 years ago and still remain uh, important to us today. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the sewing machine in front of us and what you <laughs> maybe do today with kids in camp and, and sewing? Well, what we have found is that one of the greatest tools to engage our young people in science is sewing. And that's what I have here today, to, just to give a little demonstration about what we've done in the past um, and continue to do into the future with our sewing activities in 4-H. So, so help us make a uh, mix. Can we make something today? Can we, can we show something really we, quickly? We sure can. And I also wanted to mention that our adult volunteers in 4-H are very important to us because they bring that rich experience of what they've learned in the past. And that's how we kind of got started with a lot of our sewing camps and getting science into what we do. So let me go ahead and get you started with a little sewing activity that we do in um, some of our camps. And it's called a personal air conditioner. What we have here is oh, a regular piece of fabric about 45 inches wide. And we're going to cut it so that the section of fabric is 5 by 45. We use this wonderful cutting mat and a rotary cutter makes things very precise, very easy for our kids. And safe. And very safe. And then what we will do with our fabric is fold it into a tube shape and onto our sewing machine. We're going to be putting a, a quarter of an inch seam all along the length of our fabric and the modern technology here with our wonderful cameraman. We're going to take that and turn it so that we have a wonderful tube here for our campers or our sewers. We've turned that inside out just in case you missed that. Now what you're going to do is take your tube and somewhere's about 15 inches long, you're going to sew an additional seam. Just a nice little quick thing here. Okay, don't forget to back stitch to lock your seam. Give it a cut and... Now what we, do you have here? We have hydroscopic beads and as many of you know, BJ is a horticultural agent and she will recognize these as something called pterosorb. It's a, um, absorbs a lot of water for the garden, but apparently we can use it inside too. We can also use it inside and it brings a little more science to our sewing project. We add those beads in there. We're going to shake them down. Do they stop at that 15 inch mark? They will stop right here. So you've got a tail and the beads will be caught inside, then another 15 inches from the end. You're going to sew that close. Don't forget to lock those stitches. One of the things we always remind our young sewers. Then you will tie, or excuse me, you will fold this in. Sew that shut. And you have yourself a wonderful personal air conditioner. So you're still probably wondering, well, how does this, what does this have yes, to do with help, being yeah. cool? Well, what you do is you take your 
piece of fabric with beads inside and you soak it in a pan of ice water. And what happens, if you can feel... Oh, they've expanded. The beads expand. You can feel it mm -hmm. feels like a soft jelly yeah. inside because it's pulled that water mm -hmm. out of your bowl into your fabric and they swell. This is a great way to teach our young campers about hydroscopic materials and how different um, materials, here we have a, a solid, a very hard solid I might add, responds the reaction that it goes through when that water is added to it. So you can then take this, wear it out in your yard if you're um, doing a little weeding or you're going to see a gator game and You've got a great project that you might want to take home and do with your grandchildren mm -hmm. or with um, some family friends. They also make a great community service project. This would be great on a hot summer day when you're out in the garden and mowing the grass or pulling some weeds, as you mentioned, a great way to get uh, to stay cool. And I never thought about putting it in ice water. That's a great idea. I've seen these for sale, but I never knew they were so easy to, to create. very easy to make, yeah. uh, much more economical to make them yourselves and a great way to spend some time with your children. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Plus, you have volunteers that also help you do these things with kids at camp if you decide not to do it at home. We have a lot of volunteers that help us out, so give us a call if you are interested in learning more about our sewing projects. Great. Thank you so much, Marnie. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you showing us how to do this. Can I take this with me? Yeah. <laughs>